Hello students, my name is Neerthi Sai and thanks for watching Edupedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is Phylum Platyhelminthus. Turn your frustration into fun with your online tutor Neerthi Sai. So let's proceed towards our first topic that is Platyhelminthus. Okay? Platyhelminthus. There are around 29,000 described species in this phylum. Okay, so this phylum contains about 29,000 species of soft bodied bilateral symmetry commonly called as flatworms. Okay, so they are, have dorso ventrally flattened body hence they are called as flatworms. Okay, while they remain fairly morphologically simple the platyhelminthes show several advances in body structure over simple radial phyla that come before then they have definite congregation of sensory organs and nervous tissues at one end which gives them distinct head and tail okay they are endoparasites which are found in animals including human beings okay the uh, flat forms are bilaterally symmetrical they are triploblastic in nature they are acylomate animals with organ level of organization okay hooks and suckers they are present in the parasitic form this is the main signature characteristic of platyhelminthes okay uh, hooks and sucker they are present in the parasitic forms some of them absorb nutrients from the host directly through their body surface okay some of them absorb nutrient from the host directly through their body surface flame cells they help in osmoregulation and excretion okay they these are the specialized cells and their sexes are not separate hence they are known as hermaphrodite their fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages okay some members like planaria they possess high regeneration capacity for example, tinea, which is commonly known as tapeworm, and another example is fasciola, which is known as, commonly known as liver fluke. Okay, there are about three classes: turbularia, trematoda, and cystoda. I'm again repeating: turbularia, trematoda, cystoda. Okay which are considerably modified for their exclusively parasitic existence okay which are considerably modified for their exclusively parasitic existence okay while the structure of the flat forms they marks a major step in animal evolution their origin and relationship within the group is still controversial okay Mind it that they don't have any anus. Instead, they have only a blind ending gut. Okay. Those species with a gut must therefore excrete digestive waste through their mouth. Okay. That means they don't have gut for excreting their uh, waste products. So, they excrete their digestive waste through their mouth. Okay. Now, if we see about their anatomy flat worms are dorso ventrally flattened okay all except the simplest flat forms have nephridial tubules called as protonephridia which is a primitive form of kidney okay they are usually distributed throughout the body okay such a structure they consist of an external opening and a tubule that branches internally terminating in number of blind bulb shaped structure called as flame bulbs okay which bear tufts of cilia okay this is the signature characteristic of platyhelminthus phylum of animal kingdom they probably function as excretory and osmoregulatory organ okay now come to its classes first class is class turbularia as i have told you earlier they have they are primarily carnivores there are about 4900 species of turbularians okay 
They are characterized by a soft epidermis that is ciliated and at least on the ventral surface. Okay, this is the most primitive group within the phylum Platyhelminthes. Turbularians also have an osmoregulatory system called as protonephridium. Protonephridium is a primitive kind of kidney. Okay, this system is made up of tubules, which is a network of little tubes very little little tubes and specialized cells called as flame cells this is the signature characteristic of platyhelminthes as i have told you before okay most of the turbularian are less than 5 mm long okay just 5 mm long and many are microscopic in nature which cannot be seen by our naked eyes okay now come to the other class that is class trematoda oh this is the representation of class tubularia as since uh, sexes are not separate so that means male and female are present in the one or, um, organism so these are the testes okay this is the penis okay this is the seminal vesicles hmm? this is the vas deferensa hmm? They, uh, they have a sperm storage uh, also which is known as copulatory bursa okay and uh, as we know that female uh, gonads are also present in the same organism so they have ovary also as they have testes and ovaries okay this is the oviduct okay this is the yolk glands these miniatures one are yolk glands okay now come to the another class that is class trematoda okay this is the second most diverse group of parasite the parasitic platforms of class trematoda are also known as flukes okay they have oral suckers sometimes supplemented by hooks okay as we know that hooks is a distinguishing feature of platyhelminthes okay toads have retain the same body form and digestive cap capacity or digestive cavity as the turbularians okay their life cycle occurs in at least two different hosts and they involve several generations mollusks are typically the first intermediate host mollusk is the another phylum of animal kingdom which we will be discussing in the later section okay so mollusk they are the typically one first intermediate host where amphibians amphibians are those animals that can live on the land as well as on the water okay so amphibians are the second intermediates or it can be said as definite host for these trematodas okay their life cycle begins when mollusks such as snails they get infected with the flu larvae okay the first stage larvae are called as miracidia always know miracidia see these are the stages developmental stages whom first stage is miracidium so first stage of larva is miracidia they have tail like structure cilia for moving and finding mollusk which is the first intermediate okay depending on the fluke species the larva goes through different developmental stages which are miracidium sporocyst radia cercaria mesocercaria and metacercaria okay so there are six developmental stages of larva okay this is the representation of blood fluke okay this is the oral sucker as we know that its body is supplemented by suckers and hooks okay this is the pharynx of blood fluke this is vital area these are the seminal receptacles these are the testes and this is the ovary since it is a hermaphrodite means sexes are not separate it is a uterus that contains egg okay now come to the third class that is class cestoda the body of the cestodes are also known as tape forms they has lost the typical turbularian form okay although there are few segmental species the bulk of a typical cestode body consists of a series of linearly arranged reproductive segments called proglottids okay 
Cystoda are they are long flat ribbon like organism which are commonly called as tapeworms. The head or scolex has one or more hooked suckers for firm attachment to the host. There is no digestive system in it. The, the digested food of the host is absorbed through the body wall. Okay, through the body wall uh, by cuticle. Okay, some species they can reach length of up to 15 meters. Okay, 15 meters. Many have a trunk divided into succession of proglottids. They contain both male and female gonads that break off to regenerate asexually or produce eggs sexually. Okay. You can say that uh, the body of a adult tapeworm is virtually a reproductive factory behind a small securing norm called as scolex which bears a circle of hooks or other attachment organs the proglottids constantly bud off as you can see that it got bud off these are the proglottids okay these compartments are called as proglottids it gets constantly bud off from the main body and it gradually enlarges as they mature they become filled with male and female reproductive organs okay the cross fertilization they takes place with adjacent wombs or neighboring proglottids. In some cases, self fertilization also occurs. In some species, the ripe proglottids they are filled with eggs are shed. As you can see, the ripe proglottids they are filled with eggs are shed. Proglottid body, these are the segments containing male and female reproductive organ, as we know that it is a hermaphrodite. Okay, proglottids at the end of the body they break off and pass out in feces of the host or excreta of the host. Each proglottid they contain many fertilized eggs, many fertilized eggs. Okay, and it has a ribbon shaped body up to 12 meter long, large surface area for absorption of food. They are covered with thick cuticle which protects it against enzyme of host. Which is the host? Molars can all. Okay. In others, the fertilized egg, they leave the adult host in the feces. In the eggs are consumed by the intermediate host, the life cycle continues. Okay. So, this comes to an end. Thank you.